Hey, all you cool cats and kittens, wildcats that is. Um, it's time to talk about using a servo motor in Tinkercad. So you can do this without a breadboard here, um, and then you can just go directly into the Arduino, or you can use a breadboard like I'm gonna use. Either way, should get you the right answer if you're plugging in things in the right spot and coding things correctly. Um, I'm going to use a breadboard only because in future episodes, we can just add other inputs like flex sensors and, and buttons and things like that on here, make our lives a little bit easier. So you're gonna wanna scroll down and find an Arduino and a breadboard and a micro servo motor. And we are going to, the nice thing about this is, man, you just hover over it and it tells you what's what. So I'm gonna plug this into ground. So I'm going to change that to black. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to plug this in to power. And then this signal right here, I'm going to go into um, like row 22 or so. I'm going to leave that green. Now row 22, I'm going to jump down here to digital pinout two. Okay, so that's gonna be um, where our output goes. Now these are all digital, and whenever we do positioning, we don't have just an on or an off, we have degrees. So we start at zero, and we're gonna go down to 180. Um, so it won't just go here to here uh, that fast. So um, what we need to do is use some variables in the coding. So let's jump into the code. Um, oh, there's my code right there. So I'm going to do it with you guys. So right here, um, we are going to create one variable, and we're going to call it position right there. And we are going to count up, um, count up by one, four, and then you're going to have to change this because um, you're going to have to change this to position. So I call it position. If you want to shorten it to uh, POS, you can do that. Um, if you want to, you know, capitalization does count. So just be careful when you're doing that. So then I'm going to want to rotate this position this servo right here okay so position this and i am plugged into pin two all right and then i want to go to the position degrees and then just wait a second actually not even a second i'm going to want it to wait like um 25 milliseconds Okay, now that will get it to rotate. Now, one easy thing to do is to duplicate this, bring it down here, let's click that on there. And um, the one thing you're gonna wanna change, can I, can I make this bigger? Hmm. Can't quite make that wider. So let me kind of move this so everybody I think can see. Okay, so I'm gonna change this from 180 to zero degrees. Um, I guess I forgot to change this from one to 180 up here. And then I wanna make sure that this pin position is also two, and I did that. And when I press start, you can see that the servo motor goes down and when it reaches, it comes back up. Um, it's got a little bit of a delay at, at uh, 0.25, I'm sorry, 25 milliseconds. And so it is rotating around just like that. So um, we will be using some servo motors. Uh, we've used, I've seen students use them in all kinds of projects. Uh, from unlocking doors to um, having robotic fingers uh, move with flex sensors. So there's a lot of cool things that you can do with uh, servo motors. 
I want to also encourage you to just go to YouTube, go to Google and type in servo motor Arduino, see what kind of projects you can find. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment in our Google Classroom or leave a comment down below. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.